modernized Polish American breakfast food on a Saturday. This one's gonna hit. You guys, hello, welcome back to Sean's First Time Eating. Today, whoa. First things first, I am the most Polish of all the nationalities that make up me. <laughs> Food will pay luxury for the next generation. VV Polish. I grew up eating a lot of Polish food at my grandparents' house, and kielbasa was one of the staples. So today in the show, we have authentic Polish kielbasa natural casing. That's what Polish people mean when they say they're all natural. Not no makeup, it's that they're natural, they're eating natural casings. <laughs> really got through that one. We should have stayed in Poland. We're hybriding, we're combining Polish kielbasa with an American breakfast sandwich because you can't really find this in Poland. We're making a kielbasa breakfast sandwich with sauerkraut craft beer mustard. So rather than putting sauerkraut on the sandwich, we're gonna get it through this squeezable kraut bottle. Serious about kraut. Sauerfrau. Which, how is that not gonna make you think of Austin Powers? <laughs> Frau Farbissima. The gates is in it. Bring in the fan box! All right, so what do you need? These epic brioche buns that I've been using this week. So excited. An egg. We'll use some butter. Some leftover cheese. You know, we gotta get rid of it. Breakfast sandwiches need cheese. Jackie air fryer. Thirst trap the toaster. Mug of coffee. Positive mindset. Let's roll. All right, if you've got a weak stomach, look away. We're gonna put a natural slit in our kielbasa so it doesn't bubble. Imagine having this much to work with. All right, Jackie, you even big enough for this? All right, two guys fitting in you. Cool. We barely got into the video and we're throwing two nine inches into an oven. Cool. No, don't like that. 325, 12 minutes, we'll check it. All right, while we're waiting for the kielbasa to cook up. Guys, how's your weekend starting out? Everything good? It's been like four degrees here and everything froze over like a sheet of ice. So I've been walking Lionel in his full get up just down Chicago Avenue, like slipping and sliding, trying not to break my damn neck. But the dog just acts unfazed. Isn't that amazing about dogs? They don't give an F. Try to have that mindset in life. Just like, just push past it. Don't even think about it. There's too many other things to be excited about. <laughs> How is it where you live? Are the temps dropping to concerningly low levels? Do you live in a part of the world where it's summer right now? Want to switch lives like in that one, what's that one movie? It's like Cameron Diaz and- Hate my horrible life. Hi. <laughs> We are on. All right, so I'm gonna do this over easy. I'm a big fan of runny yolks. Little hack too, don't melt the cheese on the sandwich. If you're doing an egg, melt it on the egg itself in the pan. Do a little black pepper straight up on here. All right, we're getting close to kielbasa time, so thirst trap, gonna do what it does. Oh baby. Look at that, crunchy on the outside, that's gonna be nice on the inside, ooh. We done. Look at this thing. That's what we want right there. To the other side, with that crispy, crunchy outside. I've never used this on a breakfast sandwich before, obviously, hence the episode. All right, moment of truth on this stuff. Oh, it's very sauerkraut forward mustard second. I thought it was gonna be way more the opposite. Oh my, it really is more sauerkraut. Wow. All right, let's try this first, I guess, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's weird seeing sauerkraut consistency come out of a shelf-stable bottle like that. All right, that'll be nice. Got our bun here. Shout out to one of the world's best sounds. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this vertically down the middle. Like so. You'll see barbecue restaurants do this, like when they make sausage sandwiches, like smoked sausage links, and they'll like put it on sandwiches. You'll see them kind of do this move. And then we're gonna cut it so it matches kind of the length of the sandwich. So there we go. All right, then we're gonna add our cheesy egg. Like so. Then we're gonna take our craft beer sauerkrauty mustard. I know this is grossing a lot of people out, but I grew up eating sauerkraut, so this is just normal fare. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna do two more. 
pieces of kielbasa. You guys didn't even tell me the egg broke. <laughs> People have commented it. Dude, you, whoa, whoa, watch out, watch out! Oh, is that weird? Alright, here we go. Another first. Sean's first time eating kielbasa breakfast sandwiches with sauerkraut mustard. Okay, where's the first bite, huh? Try to get a little bit of it all. Cheers. Mm-hmm. It obviously works. The snap of the kielbasa mixed with like the runniness of the egg and the cheese, and then that sauerkraut consistency, the little bit of that like grittiness. You hear that? This thing looks like I killed the yellow M&M and I tried mopping up the crime scene. Do you guys ever get kielbasa? The weekend is my favorite time to make breakfast sandwiches. I feel like I'm always just kind of putting my own spin on something and trying it, and it only makes sense to start filming it. Look at this bite. Mm. I'd argue you could put an egg on pretty much any sandwich and it levels it up. This is on a different level. Mm. Guys, what's your experience with Polish food? Do you eat it? Are you Polish and eat it or don't eat it? Would you eat this? I think you would. In Chicago, we have the Maxwell Street Polish. It's one of the like iconic Chicago hot dog, sausage, brat kind of things you can get. Portillo serves them. Any old school Chicago like meat restaurant that has like Italian beefs and hot dogs and things like that, they're gonna have it. It's my favorite. They'll put grilled onions on it as well. I could eat a Polish sausage every single day if it didn't make my heart stop beating. I'm on cloud nine. Halfway through cooking, I thought of how amazing it would have been to put a potato pancake on that sandwich too. Or even just like the frozen McDonald's hash browns you can buy. That would have been nuts. Some absolute banger videos this week and some delicious stuff in this kitchen that I just can't believe I made with my own two ginger Polish hands. But we got there and you guys were here for it. There was a new upload every single day this week and in turn a new episode every single day this month. So we're rolling now into the third week of January with episodes stacked act and more to come. Tomorrow, another ramen episode. I love these like winter Sunday ramen episodes. Little sneak peek, it's gonna be kimchi ramen. Wow. If you made it this far in the video, then you're, you're a real one. You're a true one. You're truly a fan. You're White Claw. That's a win. Definitely do that. Let me know if you guys ever use kielbasa for like a breakfast sandwich. I'd love to see what you come up with. And uh, see you again tomorrow. Very excited, like I said, that you guys are all here. Love you all. Cheers to the small batch coffees. This Raven 5 Yeti thermos is doing its job. Time to do some dishes. See you around. <laughs> How's it going? How come all of our food is gray and brown?